I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about decluttering. Decluttering is an awful chore that nobody likes to do. It is stressful, overwhelming, and just downright not fun. But today we're going to declutter and we're going to get it all done. I am going to take everything off my big bookcase here in my TV room and we're going to declutter it. I'm going to also dust it because it needs it. And then we're going to reorganize everything on the bookcase. So it's going to take a good hour, maybe a little more, to get it completely done. Because it is a big bookcase. It goes from floor to almost ceiling. And I absolutely love it because it is a must-have and a place with limited storage. And it's becoming overwhelming when I come in. And I'm trying to downsize but not become a complete minimalist. I have some baskets from the Dollar Tree. And I'm trying to stay with the grays and the white tones for this bookcase project and make things even all the way down so it's pleasing to the eyes. One of the major mistakes in decluttering is when you attempt to organize and you use different style baskets and colors because that just adds to the clutter. It's not even flowing from top to bottom going all the way down and all the way up on the bookcase. Also, things should be on the same height or similar and not overcrowded. So you don't want to do those when you're decluttering. And one of my biggest rules for decluttering is get rid of five to ten items, whether you purge, throw it away, or sell it. Just get rid of them. And sentimental items, I can understand, can be extremely hard. But if it's cracked, dirty, can't be repaired, or it's no longer useful, put it in a bag and get rid of it. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate the view. Also, give this video a big thumbs up and click on that red subscribe board so I can help you declutter your world and get it all done for 2021. My slogan, get it all done. We want to cook, we want to clean, we want to organize, we want to declutter, we want to extreme clean, we want to shop for bargains. I do all these types of videos including Dollar Tree and free food hauls from the food pantry to help you Get the nutrition you need for your family. So with that said, let's get into the video. At a glance, this bookcase looks okay. But it's very cluttery and it's overcrowded. I got books on top of DVDs, things in front of the DVDs, mismatched stuff on the shelves, and games are just out of control down below. I can't get the full shot of the bookcase, but I will show you an up and down shot in a few seconds. And I'm going to use these bins that I picked up from the Dollar Tree to get rid of some of the clutter and make it look more attractive when you come into the room. They didn't have built-in bookcases in this old house. And I picked this one up from a friend of mine. And I absolutely love it. And I love the height of it and all the valuable storage that I need in my small space. And I'm going to maximize this bookcase to its fullest potential with just a little rearranging and Dollar Tree items. From the bottom, this is what the bookcase looks like. And I'm going to start taking everything off. And I'll need a chair because it is a tall bookcase for the upper items. I'm going to start by taking items off the bookcase putting them in my bucket here. I go to waterfalls all over New York State. That's why I have rocks. And then just take everything off and carefully put it into the bucket. attempted to do this bookcase and it ended up failing. And if you have kids, you're going to find trash all over the place. This is my bag where I'm going to remove the unwanted items and trash can be included. Disinfectant wipe and give it a good cleaning. I 
gonna do the uppers and the corners like you do in your ceilings. Make sure there's no dust or spider webs in there. Just make sure things aren't breakable if they fall. Continue taking everything off all the shelves and wiping it down. Here is an example of bad decluttering and organizing. What is wrong with the picture is it's a square shaped bin and a round shaped bin and they're different colors, textures, styles and it's just an eyesore and it's not attractive and it adds to the clutter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the purple basket because everything's sticking out of it and you can see it. And I'm going to add a pink bin here. And if I put my DVDs in here, I have tags. And they're very pretty. They're chalkboard. And I'm going to tie it on the lip here. And I'm going to put DVDs so I know what's in the bin. Now, I'm going to open the second bin here. These are bins from the Dollar Tree by Essential. Again, it's the same neutral color with the pretty trim on the top. And that looks more pleasing to the eye. And it's the same height, same texture, and color scheme. This is correct organizing and decluttering. Focusing on these two shelves, another thing that can add to clutter is too many picture frames, different sizes, textures, styles. So try to have them go evenly down, about the same height. If they can't be the same color, try to keep them the same height as I did here. And then I put a large one down here and a small one with it. With the two large ones up here and the smaller one in the middle and that doesn't look cluttery and it looks nice and it's even going all the way down and pleasing to the eyes and then limit what you put in front of it or next to the picture frames with knickknacks this is where you can start your decluttering and get rid of knickknacks that are just too many or you don't need anymore the bottom two shelves i'm going to focus on board games as well as other dvds one that come in a cover, like a box set, that look nice. Here is what the bookcase looks like now. I downsize tremendously on everything on each shelf, cleaning them. And despite the baskets are different textures, they do have something in common. And if you can see that, put it in comments, what it is other than the shape. Clean, eye pleasing, all the way down. From my house to yours, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my decluttering project today, my big bookcase. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I hope that you are. And if you could figure out with the bins what was different with them, but what was the same, Put it in the comments below so I know you watched the video all the way to the end. And if you haven't yet, please give this video a big thumbs up so I can continue to do great decluttering projects within my home to help you get it all done one zone at a time. Today was the bookcase and it took about 45 minutes to get it completely done to the way that I liked it so it didn't look like an eyesore when I came into my room. My TV room three years ago was jam-packed full of stuff and I've gone through for the past few years and gotten rid of at least 60% of what was in here and it's feeling so much nicer and it's feeling like I can breathe better and it's less stressful and it's not overwhelming. If you haven't yet, look for that red subscribe word and please click on it. And thank you so much for stopping by.